Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with our daily advice for July 27th, 2017. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, and I apologize for posting this uh, later than usual. Um, some unforeseen circumstances um, made it impossible for me to work yesterday for most of the day. Everything's fine, everything's okay. It was just unplanned visits really. We received uh, guests that we weren't expecting, um, and so I, I just couldn't work. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is what it is, so we're going to make the best of it. Um, so let's look at today's energies and see what's going on here. Um, the general message for today seems to be um, about loosening control over a situation or loosening our grip over a situation and as soon as we do that we see a way around the obstacles okay so the energy of the past that is influencing us today we have the emperor the emperor is a card that talks about um someone who can be you know very stubborn because they're very set in their ways um it can also be about rules and structure and getting organized and um uh, that can lead to becoming a little bit closed-minded or a little bit rigid in terms of the options that we allow for. Um, this is definitely someone who's very wise um, and knows a lot and is very experienced. And sometimes that can lead to falling into the trap of, well, I know better by now or I know everything but there is to know. And so with the emperor, it's good to remember that we're always learning and it's good to remember that it's always a good idea to just keep an open mind about things. But it does feel like something that we planned for in our past, uh, something that we were responsible for, we took charge for, we were, you know, um, heading that particular situation, managing it, if you will, calling the shots. And we came up with the plan of how we were going to handle things. Today, we have another four. We have two fours. We have another four. We have the four of pentacles. And with the four of pentacles, this talks about where we hold on to the plan that was made previously. Yes, we had a lot of information at hand. Yes, we had our experience to go on. We had our knowledge to go on. Of course, it was a good plan. But today, we seem to be struggling because we're trying to hold on to the plan and keep it the same, not change it in any way. And so we seem to have reached a block, an obstacle, a dead end type of situation where it seems like we're not able to move forward. But the reason for that is the fact that we try to hold on to what was already established because that's what four represents. It's something that is very well established, very stable, very secure, uh, a solid foundation and sometimes we hold on to that because we, we liked our plan, it was a good plan. But we, what we need to remember is, okay, well that was then, things have changed in the meantime, maybe we have changed in the meantime, circumstances have changed in the meantime, our possibilities um, have changed in the meantime. And so it's it would be a good idea to revisit the plan and just tweak it. We don't have to just let it go, we don't have to ignore it and start from scratch because for some that's why we keep holding on to what was already established because we were felt very happy and confident with that plan and we felt like we were going to be successful with that plan and so the fear of having to start from scratch and maybe coming up with the plan that's not as good makes us actually hold on to the old plan. Um, however, just loosening our grip on it a little bit um, is not going to do any damage. Um, it's not going to mean that we renounce the plan that we just ignore it that's it throw it out the window what it will do it will give us a different perspective on things okay it will give us a different point of view a different way of looking at things where we do see that actually okay we'll still very much on track we're still okay we're almost there and what we've been banging our head against for the past few hours days months um there's actually a way around it if we tweak that plan a little bit and that could mean timing that could mean how much resources we put in that could just mean you know what I'm just gonna let it rest for 
a week, let it rest for a few days, um, clear my head, go back to it, and that's where we see the new option, the new solution that we didn't see before. Okay, so stubbornly trying to push something through, sometimes that's what we need to do and that's the best course of action, but now it's about, okay, we'll take a step back, hold on, take a step back, reassess what's going on, and what can be done about the situation. And that's how we overcome obstacles today. That's how we move past an obstacle and we still, we're still working on our plan. We're still working on that goal, okay? But we're adjusting and we're adapting to the circumstances. Maybe now it's not within, maybe it's in a phase where it's not just within our hands. It's not just us that are responsible for that. Maybe we have to depend on other people for whatever. And so the message is, okay, well, trying to control everything doesn't work anymore because we cannot control everything at this point. So just keeping our eyes open, keeping an open mind, and adapting to the circumstances while keeping things still moving in the direction of our goal, as we planned, would be the best course of action. And the energy that we're moving into tomorrow with, by doing this, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So this is actually getting to the harvest. Actually getting to the harvest. For some, it may mean tweaking the timing of the, of the plan, uh, adding a couple of extra steps, taking out a couple of steps, um, reassessing, taking stock. What is that I need? Can I still get things done with everything I have? Do I need something extra? Could I use these resources more efficiently for this plan? Could I get more different resources? Would it be beneficial if I allowed someone else in to help me? Would it be beneficial if I took the lead now and just kind of told people, thank you very much, but I have it from here? Just taking a step back to look at the circumstances, to look at the situation, and then adapt the plan to what is actually going on now versus what was going on in the past. It's just gonna mean a few tweaks here and there, so we still keep our plan that we're happy about and very confident in, but we actually get to move forward by doing so because we adapt to our current circumstances and so we can sail through them, okay? And we get to the harvest point. And our guidance card is another seven, seven of winter. And that's what it says, there is a better choice, not seeing things clearly or running away from the truth. So where we become stubborn of no, I, I thought this through, this was the best way, this is the best plan. I'm confident, I'm not going to change it because I know that this is gonna work, it's the best plan, it's the best course of action. And that's it, it has to work. We may hit some roadblocks, okay, because we're not seeing the truth of the situation and the truth of the situation is, okay, well, circumstances have changed slightly in the meantime. And that's the truth of the situation facing things and assessing what is actually going on now versus what we thought was supposed to go on is how we see the solution. That's the better way forward. And that's how we get to glide through the obstacles or just avoid them altogether. It's about strategy. And we have an excellent strategy, yes. There's no question in that with the emperor. It's an excellent strategy. But even the best strategies need tweaking every now and again. Because it's what we have in our heads versus what's going on in real life, okay, that we need to uh, keep track of. Ideally, meaning what's going on in our heads and how far we can foresee and how far, far we can anticipate, things should be a certain way, according to us. But then in the real world, where it's not just us, things change. There's unforeseen situations and events, unforeseen, you know, uh, obstacles, unforeseen windfalls, okay, and opportunities to make things easier for us. So it's always a good idea to adjust course accordingly, to make the best of the circumstances, while always keeping that initial strategy in mind. Okay, that's what this is about. So, 
if we do see how this guidance works for us today, we could actually overcome some obstacles that we've been dealing with for a long time. Uh, we could actually skip a few uh, steps in the plan and we get ahead a lot quicker than anticipated. We could actually see that, hold on, I've actually reached these steps. I'm not supposed to keep working on them. I'm supposed to move forward and so on. So um, that's our message. I hope that it makes sense. Remember, this was a, a look at the energies around us, but they will manifest very differently for everyone. So do keep an open mind and take away the message of the reading. If not, the you know if the specific examples don't make sense to you, take away the message. If you think it applies differently to you, then it probably does. Um, and use it for what you're experiencing, if it helps with that. Um, let me know. You know what this is about for you, what it's making you think of, or how it, it's helping if it is. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, your monthlies are out for August, so I hope you enjoy those. I hope you find them useful. Um, and again, just keep in mind they are general. You know, sometimes, um, you know, people get a little bit up in arms over the fact that. Uh, oh, this is a negative reading. Well, it's not really. If it doesn't make sense to you, then it, it doesn't apply to you. But for those who it does make sense, um, it's helpful. You know, I have emails and comments from people all the time saying, yes, this is actually something that it applies to me. And uh, the guidance is really helpful. So, again, just take it all with a grain of salt. If it applies, it applies. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. And that's okay. I just, you know, wanted to clear that up. Um, but, yeah. Other than that, I hope that you enjoy this reading. Hope you enjoy your monthlies. I'm working on the weekly, so stay tuned for those. Um, have a great day ahead, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Take care.